Hello everyone. So, what's your favorite CMS? What an icebreaker, huh? Might even work as a pickup line. You guys try and let me know. Today, I need to set up a CMS for the app that I'm working on. So, I'm really curious what you guys are using for your own projects. There's a CMS called Sanity. They have an office here in Oslo located in an old brewery. So, they make their own craft beer. Not sure how far I'd get on beer instead of coffee, but it might be working well for them when it comes to recruitment. But here's a question. How often do you roll your own DIY solutions for things? Are you a pragmatic person or are you more like me? I have an idea for a project, but first I want to show you what I already have. It was a dummy node server with some hard-coded data, but having strong types in your code feels ergonomic actually, so I came up with an idea, which I pitched on the Discord server and the good people over there really helped me clarify what I was going for. So picture this, a code editor with strong types where you can also upload files. Ethan thought that I wanted a visual JSON editor and I can see why from my description, but I was really going for something that feels like plain text. Anyhow, as I became more and more senior as a developer, I learned mostly what I can't do and making this fancy code editor in a day definitely falls in that category. So it's time for plan B. I spent some time thinking what's the next best thing that I can actually do. And I remembered one such thing. It was CDK from Amazon. It felt kind of right in the same way that YAML files felt wrong, if that makes any sense. So I started working on something like that. And midway through my implementation, I came to a dilemma. Check this out. Let's not even discuss the fact that it's object oriented. I don't know why I did that. Let's focus on this function dry run. My question to you is, what is the opposite of dry run? Wet run? A lot of people ask me how they can get into tech, so if you're interested, I have something for you. I partnered with the guys from Course Careers to bring you a course that I really believe is a great starting point if you're looking to break into tech. And the reason I'm recommending somebody else's course instead of my own is that I truly believe it takes more than a course to get into this profession. It takes mentorship, it takes practice, it takes work on real projects and receiving feedback on those projects from your mentors to really progress and learn the things that you need to know. And it takes someone to prepare you for interviews and guide you throughout your journey. And Course Careers do all of that. They even partner with companies who offer interviews to course graduates. And the second reason I'm recommending this course is that it really focuses on the fundamental principles of software engineering. And that's the one key thing that makes all the difference when you actually get the interview. In this course, you'll build a really solid understanding of data structures, algorithms, software design and architecture, because it goes well beyond the surface level understanding. So if you guys are interested in getting into tech, there is a free introductory course which you can take with no obligation whatsoever and if you use my link you can get $50 off from the full course. Now I don't really know for how long Course Careers is gonna allow me to offer this discount but for now check out the link in the description. Have you decided? Is wet run the choice here? Anyhow man you gotta love modern furniture design. What even is this material? And don't even get me started on how soft the chairs are. I was running out of time by now, and I still didn't like the first implementation. It was very stateful for no reason. Coding Java at work will one day be the end of me with all of those OOP patterns. You see, this is why I do all of my side projects, so that I can do things my way, even though my way usually means rewriting stuff all day long. So in contrast to CDK, which is very stateful and very object-oriented itself, I wanted something that works more like a DSL. Right now I'm really only focusing on the content management part of the CMS. It doesn't expose any APIs. It's simply there to sync data between my codebase and a remote data store like Firestore or GCP. So here's a question for you. If a CMS that exposes data only through the API is called headless, what is a CMS without an API called? Torzoless? Makes for a good npm package name, but maybe I can also just call it wet run. So here's that DSL approach that I talked about. For now it's just a command line tool, but it does work. And here's the data in Firestore. One more reason I like to work on these side projects is so I can test in production with no problem at all. I added another helper that can take a local file, upload it to GCS and return the public URL so that it can be embedded in a larger document in the CMS. And this is practically what I need to really support my use case for the wallpaper packs. And if you don't know what wallpaper packs I'm talking about, there is a link in the description for a previous episode so you can check it out. But for now, look at this beauty. Man, it took me like 4 hours. But listen, I made one huge mistake. 
I came here by bike. It felt like such a great idea when I left home today. I get my workout done along the way, I'll get there faster too. I'll avoid the annoying public transport. All valid points for sure. Just one little detail. Alright guys, watch this, watch this. 